I can't believe that. Yeah. Hello, crowd. It didn't record. I have to do it again. Oh, where was I? Tigger. Here's one I made earlier. I did all the markings for you. Oh, skiing isn't that great. Now, my favourite, which you can make out of a green bloom, or a mock of chocolate bloom, depending on yourself, of course, is a T-Rex one bloom, which I absolutely love better than the dog. You've only got a few twists, you don't need to leave like five inches of anything at the bottom. No, just about two and a half to three inches. Try the bloom. Says I. Okay, I've tried the bloom now. What am I going to do? My T Rex first. Ah, yeah. I grab it by the hand and I go twisty, twisty, twist. I hold it over and I go twisty, twisty, twist, holding the knot, pushing the knot through. There you go. And again, twice, just to be safe, because you know what it's like with me. Bloom spent to pop all the time. I. And another eye. Oh, nice big inch bulky eyes. I like the bulky eyes. Some people do small eyes. Throw them down together like so. I can feel the inclination did them a pinch twist. Once. Twice. That's all you need. That just makes them stand up that little bit more. So far, so good. Now then. T-Rexes only have little arms. So we want to come out there. About there. Little hands in between. Just one bubble. And then bring it back. And because there's nothing else in the way, I just twist it together straight off. Like that. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, all doing well. Now then. Just about that. About there, like that. And then you do... A bold twist like that. Look, look at that. Da, 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 da. They have bigger legs at the back than they do with their arms, you see. That gives them the right position. And then you squeeze your excess bloom, bend it over, rub it, squeeze it, manipulate that bloom, bend that tail. Oh, that's a little bit too bent. Now I have to do it the other way now. There we go. And you've got your two reps. And of course, as all good bloom artists know, you have to draw with your black pen. Giving him two great big nostrils. Yay! So he can smell that you're ready to eat. Give him two great big fans. So he can hold you down while he chews at your meat. And give him lots of teeth. Lots of teeth to eat you with. Now then, I could make this one bloom and a bit because I like eyes. Or you could simply just draw your eyes on there. I'm going to try. Get my favourite blooms. And what are my favourite blooms, boys and girls? Everybody? A water bomb, of course. Get your water bomb. Oh. oh look at that. Get in, get in. Go. One more. Get your other water bomb. Go. One more. Let the air out. <laughs> Time to get Like so. There we go. And then if you want, you can add them here. Oh, on that one pot. <laughs> there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and twist this one into two eyes. Just to save some time. There we go. Yeah, and it twisted. Oh, you little beauty. Aren't you a darling? Oh, yes, I am. Yeah. 
Well, the eyes were a bit uneven, but does it matter? I've been telling you that doesn't. Not really. Not really. There you go, on your pushing ice cream with your own days on there, and everyone can see it. Aye, that's right. I've been telling you that me. I've been telling you that me now. No, you see, there you go. Oh. Oh, this is not working. Yeah. Now I'm scared of that. See, I think these googly eyes make it all that scary for the little children. A one boom rex, T Rex. It's not a hex, hex, no, it's a T Rex, Rex. <laughs> Bye for now. Have a nice day.